All right, it's day 63. Capitalization. I'm going to let you do that on your own. If you want to check your um, answers at the uh, end, I will have this at the end of the video, the, the answer key, but I want you to try it first without looking at what the answers are and see how you did. All right, so we're going to go right into punctuation then. Punctuation, the present participle is formed by adding ing to a, to a verb. The example is to hand becomes handing. And we've seen this in other areas um, in our grammar in the past so many weeks. We've done a lot with participles. But now they're talking in terms of punctuation. Place commas around a present participle phrase used as an adjective if it occurs within a sentence and interrupts the flow of a sentence. For example, a clown handing out balloons smiled at the little ones. And then they ran away because deep down most kids are afraid of clowns. If the present participle phrase begins a sentence, place a comma after it. Example, handing out balloons, comma, a clown smiled at the little ones. All right, so let's take a look at the sample sentence. Realizing his mistake, the clerk called to the customer. She heard him and returned. All right, well, let's look. Do we have a present participle in the sentence? Sure enough, we do. Right at the beginning, there's, there it is, realizing. So we have realizing his mistake. And we just learned that when a participle phrase is at the beginning of the sentence, it needs a comma. So we have realizing his mistake, comma. The clerk called to the customer. She heard him and returned. Okay, so for punctuation between um, the clerk called to the customer, she heard him and returned, we need a semicolon, not a comma. A semicolon is the way that you mark when there are two independent thoughts, independent clauses that are closely linked, okay? So we've got a semicolon there. She heard him and returned, period. So let's see, this is what it should look like. Realizing his mistake, comma, the clerk called to the customer, semicolon, she heard him and returned, period. Okay, next section, prefixes, roots, and suffixes. The prefix G and G-O means earth. Write a word with the pre prefix G-E or G-O and then write its meaning. So, how are you going to do that? Well, some of you might just know off the top of your head some G-O words and you can figure out what they mean. For those of you who maybe are moving a little slower this morning or you don't have a large bank of G-O words, you can go to your dictionary and look up G-E-O and see what kind of words show up. Oh my goodness. I see probably, oh, I'd say probably close to 50 words, maybe even more. Go to your dictionary, look up G-O, see what you come with, and then write down the meaning. Thankfully, the other stuff they gave you is very easy for today. Next, they want to know whether we're, um, the phrases are fragments, run-ons, or sentences. F for fragment, R-O for run-on, S for sentence. So let's take a look. The child was rushed to the emergency room. Is it a complete thought? It is. Is there a subject? There is. Is there a verb? There is. That makes it S for subject. Uh, B, those attending the school graduation. Hmm, that is not a complete thought because we don't know what happened to those, right? Those attending the school graduation. So that is a fragment. Keep this meat refrigerated, it will spoil quickly. Who can tell me why that's a run on? You know what? That could be a bonus right there. Um, punctuate it so it's not a run on. I'll give you a hint. It's very similar to the sentence you had in punctuation. Then finally, watch your step. What's the subject of that? It's implied, you. You watch your step. So you have a subject, you have a verb, you have a complete thought. That one is a subject, uh, I'm sorry, a sentence. So we have sentence, fragment, run on, sentence. Lastly, I, um, after you do your sentence combining, I promised you that if you wanted to check your work under capitalization, I would show you the answers. So I'm trusting you have tried this already on your own and now you're just double checking, okay? These are the words that need to be capitalized in the sentence. 
Before leaving for a cabin in Pine Canyon, located at the foot of San Francisco Peaks, the Lee family bought Coho mailing labels at Regal Office Mart. Okay, so those are the answers. Whoa! <laughs> those are the answers. Check yourself. See how you did. All right, and you've got your sentences to combine. You guys are good to go. God bless you.